How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today's video we are looking at the weekly news for World of Tanks console. We're going to go through everything you need to know as part of the most recent update that came into the game today as of the recording of this video the 11th of May. We're going to go over everything you need to know for the week. And then we're going to kind of give an overview as to the two bundles that are the focus of this video in terms of the title, etc. And uh, and just give a bit more detail as to what that is. Timestamps will be in the bottom left, so of whatever device you're using, it will basically be able to pick point uh, whichever part of the video you want to see most and skip between the various different things and it kind of makes it easier for you to get the bit of information that you actually want to find out. So the first thing that makes up this video is obviously the overview. We have five weeks left of the season pass, or just over five weeks I should say, until the 22nd of June. Uh, so you know, you've got plenty of time to be able to get to tier 100. I think me personally, I'm on like tier 60 or something like that. Um, so I'm nearly there, getting there. It's only been like three weeks since the release of, of the Modern Armor and the new Season Pass, so I'm sure that you guys, even if you play casually, can get there. It's just about coming on, getting those daily challenges done, and then you can leave again, basically, uh, and that's it for that day. And if you do that for half of the days in the whole like Season Pass, then you'll more than likely get to Season Pass 100. Um, obviously, if you want to purchase it, then that's up to you, and it does give you your gold back if you do get to rank 100, but, you know, it's one of those things where if you don't spend enough time in it, then it's not worth it, but if you do, then 100%, I would say, purchase the Battle Pass. Obviously, with the Battle Pass or the Season, we do have the Season vehicles there in and as well until the 22nd of June, so if you want to pick those up, make sure you do it before then. Uh, we've had key cards, they're remaining the same, so the drop rates are the same, um, and all of the premium tanks that are in it are the same on the 25th of May. That will change and they'll get re-rolled into different premium tanks available. Obviously there's a new premium tank that came into the game. I did a little preview or overview of this tank in yesterday's video that I will link at the end of this one. So if you want to have a look in specific at the T-72 Ural for the Cold War game mode, it's a Cold War premium escalation era tank, then uh, you can have a look at that at the end of this video maybe. Then we have this week's events. We've got a tier 10 tank event, which basically means you get double silver on every single win. Uh, or actually, it's just double silver for the whole time. You don't have to do anything. So as long as you're playing at tier 10, you're going to be making a lot of silver this weekend. Um, that goes from the 14th of May to the 18th. So you've got plenty of time to be able to grind out some silver. And believe me, you do get a lot of silver. As part of this, you get a 20% discount on uh, specially selected tier 10 tanks from the premium tech tree. So if you want to have a look at those, go onto the premium tech tree in-game, and then you'll see which tanks have been 20% uh, discount. It does cost silver though, uh, or free XP I should say, not silver. Uh, so if you've got like 400,000 free XP, then I guess purchasing a tier 10 premium might be what you want to do. Otherwise... Um, I think you can purchase some for gold, but it's super expensive and I would never really recommend purchasing tier 10 tanks for gold. It's just ridiculous prices. So the next part of the video is on the bundles and the tanks that you can get in game if you want to pick them up. We're going to go over which deals are basically the best ones out of this week and then uh, give a little overview as to whether you whether or not you should pick them up. Uh, there's two definite ones that everyone should pretty much have in their garage if you haven't already otherwise you know you're not really having too much fun at those tiers um, especially when they get on sale and everyone purchases them etc. So the first one, we're going to have a look at the bundles first, then the so solo tanks on their own. So, first one, we've got Brawler's Delight. This is a um, a package that will cost you 14,500 gold. Now, that's very, very expensive. A lot of you will have already picked up the 50TP prototype if you actually um, purchased the Battle Pass last season, where you got it as rank 100 reward. So, you know, for many of you, um, if you purchase it... Um, you'll pretty much get your gold back for that. So it's down to whether you want the IS-3 Auto or the WZ-111. Um, obviously, between them, um, whether or not you want them is is down to you. But personally, I don't really like the look of this tank, to be honest. Uh, it's not particularly amazing. 
you don't have an auto loader so although it is is3 auto it's the same as the fatherland so if you already own the fatherland this is literally the exact same um so don't think that it's the uh stockade the auto loading uh is it's actually not it's the standard one shot per clip um you know it's, it's not particularly amazing and i certainly wouldn't really recommend it i mean it's just an is3 but slightly worse i guess because i think the turret is stock um compared to the actual um uh, turret of the other um is i think that this this patch on the top of the gun uh, can be penned really easily so if you're coming up against a lot of these you can pen it right above the gun and it's pretty much got no armor there you can see it's only got 20 millimeters of armor on the top of that turret so yeah it's not particularly amazing then we have the wz111 um, this is a kind of a premium that's it's quite old to be honest with you. Um, the armor probably works a little bit more than the IS-3, but then again, you've got this kind of pike nose, and you've also got a flat lower plate, which makes it very very easy um, for people to pen you, whether you're just front frontal on kind of, or you're actually angling. So no matter which one you do, they're going to be able to pen you very very easily. Um, the turret's not bad and obviously you can kind of use it well uh, because it's fairly angled and it's going to be somewhat hard to pen but for the most part I don't think that this tank's going to be really breaking the bank and certainly with 175 pen on your standard rounds and only 250 on your premium rounds it's not going to be too fun if you're coming up against those tier 10s that you most likely will uh, in this tank. Other than that I don't think I'd really recommend this bundle out of all of the ones this week. Moving on to the Berlin Trio, this one is basically um, one that I already own two of them. The RSU-122S is actually not a bad tank. It does get 390 Alpha, reloads super quick, and I mean super quick. Uh, only problem is, is obviously you are a slow, uh, cumbering kind of oaf tank, so it's not particularly amazing. You don't really have armor, so you can't really rely on that. And I just don't think that for the majority of players, the RSU-122S is going to be too fun. Uh, unless you enjoy playing those like kind of Chinese or Russian tank destroyers, then this one could be for you. Um, but I don't think for the majority of players, you're really going to want this one in your garage. It only makes 35% silver, and obviously that's because it's at tier 7. Similarly, you've got the IS-2. Um, you know, it's a really good heavy tank. I'm not going to lie. The Ice 2 is actually fantastic. A really, really good one. As with the Cromwell B, a really, really good one. But personally, I don't think that you really want the Ice U-122S. So it's kind of a bit of a trade-off. Do you want both of the other tanks? If you do, the Ice U-122S is like kind of an, an, adi an addition to the bundle. So think about that when you're buying it. It is only 7,300 gold and all three tanks are useful, they can be used really well, uh, but if you don't like tank destroyers, you probably won't like the ISU-122S. Moving on, we have the Hunting Party. This comes with the AMX CDA-105. This one's actually quite a good tank destroyer if used correctly. Now, I, I say that because... The armor doesn't particularly work very well. You've got this massive cupola on the top, which is easily penable by most people. Uh, you have got this lower plate, which has pretty much got nothing. I mean, even your upper plate has barely any armor. Even because it's angled, you're going to be able to go through it very, very reliably. You try an angle, well, that just means people can pen your side. And since you literally don't have side armor uh, in this thing, you're very, very much like a glass cannon type tank, unless you're very... Um, unless you literally are facing them directly and even then they can pen your cupola if they know your weak points. The gun on the tank is really really good though uh, so obviously you've got really good accuracy 0.3 and a decent reload as well so I think for those of you that like um, the French TDs this one could be interesting for you and I'm kind of interested in this tank maybe I will pick it up at some point if I can get my hands on it and maybe do a review for you guys. Similarly the T103, this is like the Bison, if you've ever seen it. It's kind of like a an SU-100Y at tier 8. Um, probably not so big of a gun, comparatively tier for tier, as the SU-100Y. But it is an interesting one, and you're kind of relying on this fat, ogre turret that can be penned quite easily if people uh, tier 10 and tier 9 actually come up against you with their premium rounds similarly you do have weak points on the hull of the tank so it's kind of one of those where your armor doesn't really mean too much because it's not angled at all 
or at least not angled very well unless you hit that kind of lower plate or lower upper plate if that makes sense that is quite well angled um lower plate not particularly amazing <laughs> you know i don't think anyone's going to really be having super duper games in this thing um but maybe you will maybe you won't it's kind of up to you as to whether you want to purchase this tank Overall, 9,900 gold is not the worst out of all of the bundles, but I don't think it's the best value for money, and if you don't really want one of these tanks, then picking it up for that much gold is probably not your best bet. Now we've got two more bundles, we have the Scandinavian Duo. Uh, both of these are actually quite good tanks, the Draugen being super overpowered i mean it's just basically a lance and sea that is better in every way um you get hesh pen that is just fantastic 210 millimeters of hesh pen at tier 8 is actually really really good it means you can go through pretty much anyone that you come up against it's the same pen as the fv4202 at tier 10 480 alpha damage can really be useful against those tigers that you come up against whether that be the tier 8 or the tier 7 you can pretty much devastate both of them with this tank fantastic speed it's literally got everything it got trollish armor as well it's got like some weird armor where actually some of the angles actually make you bounce especially if you auto aim on this thing really does pull off some weird bounces i don't know if that's like a glitch or not but it certainly has some real potential for you to have crazy games i think i averaged like 3000 damage uh, over the course of 100 games which is quite good i'm not gonna lie um three marked it in about 70 games was so so fun to play and if you set it up correctly with the um gun stabilizer which you 100 percent need on the dragon along with advanced optics and concealment and then you have a good crew with it then you can have some really good games and making sure that you know when to swap between your hash and your standard rounds uh, makes this tank really really good and really useful for you guys that want to play a tank like this strv Probably not as powerful, but it still has that kind of troll armor where it's so well angled that, you know, you can bounce quite a few shots. Side armor is paper, so people can go through that. They'll just overmatch your, your side armor very, very easily. So don't think that you've got armor on the side. So you very much want to keep your frontal armor towards people. Obviously, you have this cupola on the top, which people can pen. Most people will overmatch this, so if they hit it, uh, kind of have to do like some short wiggling where um, makes it slightly harder. Put your gun up in the air in the way of the cupola if you can do that, if it's possible. Um, and obviously, if you're using your gun depression, which this thing gets the hydro pneumatic suspension, it means that you can actually have some really, really uh, hard angles to hit your cupola so if you're putting your gun in the way and also using your gun depression it kind of makes it very very difficult for people to actually hit you so it can be a fun tank if you like the Swedish TDs but I don't think it's one that I would necessarily run towards it out of all of the tier 8 premiums if you want the Draugen then this isn't a bad deal I don't think that you know it's the best deal out there because Obviously, if you don't want the STRV, then it's not a good deal. But if you do somewhat like the Swedish TDs, then yeah, this deal would be really good for you. And then our final deal, the Rapid Fire. This is the best deal this week, in my opinion, other than the 50% discount on certain premium tanks that they have given. I will go into that in a second. But the Rapid Fire bundle comes with the general now the general is an auto loading tier 8 kind of skoda um really 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 fun tank to play has this two sh uh, three shot auto loader you've got a decent amount of damage um you've got 240 damage so what's that 620 alpha between all of your shots um or 720 alpha i should say uh, this thing can go fairly fast. You've got 50 kilometers an hour forward. You've got decent accuracy, not the worst in the world. Good aim time. Um, yeah, this tank can can definitely be used very, very well. And, you know, with all autoloaders, it can be certainly um, a bit trolly. You just got to make sure that you um, come around the corner as and when needed. You don't put yourself in unnecessary pressure when you're reloading. And then just poke out, put your shots in and run away again using that mobility of the tank that it does get. 
Similarly, another autoloader, the TL1 LPC. Uh, this one's really good as well. It's a double shot autoloader, so it's 1-2, very, very quick. Intraclip reload of 1.13 seconds, so you basically don't have an intraclip reload. It's very much like bang, bang, and then you can get out. You'll have done um, 560 alpha damage on average. If you pen both of your shots, you can go 50 kilometers an hour. You reload in 18 seconds base this tank would be very very interesting to play and if you haven't already got this bundle and you're willing to spend some money on the game that of which personally I'm not going to be spending much money on this game in the foreseeable future but this bundle would definitely be one for you and then finally you get another autoloader in the Somua SM which is another really good tank I'm not going to lie it does get an autoloader with a lot of shots. You've got five shots in the clip, 300 alpha damage each, 1500 in total. You can put that out in approximately um, nine seconds, so that's not bad. Really, really quick damage, bursty damage, 1500 damage in nine seconds. Lock them down, fire at the tracks, track them, then retract them, and then c carry on firing with your gun going to be superb you've got decent penetration on your standard rounds and on your premium rounds so that means you know you're not going to be having issues with that only problem is the armor the turret is the weak point of the tank so it's kind of reverse of most tanks uh, lower plate is actually fairly hard to hit so don't go aiming at the hull of this tank if you're coming up against one um, and certainly you want to be aiming at the um, at the turret where it's weakest as far as weekly deals go, we've got the overpowered E25. This tank is just, just disgusting. And obviously you saw it on the uh, thumbnail of this video. This is one of the key talking points about the video. Um, it's kind of one of those tanks that I just feel has kind of been just made even better now that you can put on the traction system, boost that top speed of 65 kilometers an hour base. Now it can go 71 kilometers an hour. It's still concealment is 266, which can be made lower if you put uh, advanced concealment on it. It has advanced optics, which means that you can boost that view range. Um, this thing is basically indetectable. Um, I only had fuel boost on to test out the speed of it. And so I would normally have rations and med kit and repair kit. So yeah, this tank is really, really good. Obviously it lacks penetration on its standard rounds and even on its premium rounds, they're not fantastic. So that's the one kind of downfall. The balancing factor is that you will have to spend a little bit of money in this tank, but then again, it does make 30% extra silver. So I guess for the majority of games, you will actually be able to make your money back. And in some cases, you'll make quite a bit of money actually from the game that you play in if you don't have to fire um, a lot of premium rounds and you're coming up against tier 7s, tier 6s and tier 5s. So yeah, this tank is really, really good. Really, really fun to play. It's fast. It's maneuverable. It doesn't get a turret, which is kind of the lacking part of the tank. I guess the kind of trade-off. But it's so fast and it's so manoeuvrable and you can get up close to heavies where they can't even hit you because you're so small. If we could compare this to an actual other tank, you'd be tiny. Um, it's kind of hard to show that in game, but yeah, it's it's a tiny, tiny tank and it's one that's really, really fun to play. And um, I did a few videos on it, so if you want to have a look back in the channel, um, you can. It'll be there. Uh, it was titled something like this tank is broken e25 is on the thumbnail uh, i will link it at the end of this video if you want to have a look at that 3500 gold for it yeah 100 percent purchase it it's a tier 7 that is actually really really fun to play and that can't really be said for many premiums on this game yes some of them are overpowered but are they fun to play can you have a laugh if you're playing in your platoon with your mates in the E25s, it can be really funny when you're using your DPM because it reloads so quick and does that amount of damage. You can tear apart tier 10s uh, or tier 9s, I should say, very, very quickly. If there's three of you just locking people down, tracking them, perma tracking them, and then you're just having a great laugh with your mates. Then the next weekly deal that we do have is the FCM 50T. This is one I would completely avoid. Do not get it. It's been outdated it's no good not for the majority of players anyway it's so old it's just lost a lot of its kind of armor it's just yeah it's a tank that's been shoved in the back of the cupboard it's had 
tons and years and years and years of dust covering it and basically there's a reason why you never see them in the matchmaker and that is because it just is weak paying 6000 gold for this thing as well definitely avoid this one there's so many more better deals i mean if you compare it to just something like the the dragon it's just pale in comparison dragon is faster you know it's got a better gun um it probably has better armor to be honest because you've got bouncy angles on it um yeah there's nothing particularly great about the f750t and it's one i'd avoid as for the final bits of this video we're going to go over the um personal offers there are two of them that you can get You've got the Yatsi um, WZ-121GFT, that's a mouthful. Um, yeah, this is a tier 8 tank destroyer. It's a pretty fun one. It's going to be, you know, having you games. If you've ever played the SU-122 um, at tier at tier 7, then it's kind of basically a tier 8 version that's Chinese. Really, really fun. And if you want to play that kind of play style and you enjoy it, then yeah, go ahead and buy it. It'll be 50% off. Then we have the next tank that was in kind of the thumbnail. It's the Panzer V4. Yes, they're selling it again. Another broken tier 5. Yeah, it's just absolutely ridiculous. They keep selling these overpowered tanks constantly. Every couple of weeks, they come back into the sales. And it just ruins the matchmaker for that week. You end up with tens of 20... Panzer 5 4 is rolling around at tier 5 and it makes the new player experience disgusting. Imagine coming up against someone with a 9 skill crew with full equipment in a Panzer 5 4. You're playing at tier 4 and you're just getting absolutely mullered. They don't even pay attention to you, they just ram into you, destroy all of your hit points and take only like what, 50 to 100 damage in return. Yeah, it's a disgusting tank and certainly one I don't want to see sailed, but if you're going to buy it, it's 100% worth it. It's going to cost you like in the region of 2000 gold, which is uh, like it's so worth buying that it makes it even worse that it's on sale. Um, yeah, it's just a disgusting tank. And if you want to have some fun with your mates, just rolling around being super overpowered, then this tank is 100% for you. And um, yeah. I'm just not too happy about wargaming, keep on selling these tanks, breaking the matchmaker for a week or two, and then basically it's just unfair for the new players, as well as some of the older players who are trying to grind through the tech tree and they're coming up in their tier 6s against Panzer V 4s that ram them for full health. Uh, I think the other day I played in the Panzer V 4 with a ramming build with the new speed boost equipment and I rammed a KV-1 for full health. That's a tier 5 heavy tank probably the heaviest heavy tank at that tier rammed him for full health in a medium tank in quotation mark that goes 65 kilometers an hour on the flat with speed boost equipment disgusting absolutely disgusting and the fact that they put it on sale every single month pretty much now yeah i i really do hate that and yeah i'm hoping that that changes in the future from wargaming but i very much doubt it to be honest and then finally the last personal offer is the SU-100Y bundle of fun at tier 6. Super cheap, really really good fun and if you want to play it then go ahead. Got a big derpy gun, it's got no armour, it's a big fat slug of hit points for the enemy team to take but if you do manage to catch an opponent with the gun it pretty much takes all of their hit points if not all of their hit points in one go so yeah it's a really really fun tank to play is it broken probably broken but is it overpowered probably not because you know yes you can derp someone for full health but you are then vulnerable for the entirety of your reload where you have no armor and uh yeah prone to getting hit by artillery do i recommend it yes i think the panzer 5 4 the su 100 y the e25 and the rapid fire bundle are the ones that i'd go for this week if you haven't got any or, or you're trying to get a premium tank that's going to be super fun then all of those are going to be really good for you as for the other ones obviously make up your own mind i'm not telling you you shouldn't buy anything i'm not telling you that you should Obviously everyone can have fun in all of the different various different tanks in the game and if you certainly want to play any of these then go ahead. Similarly there will be a 15% discount on purchasing these uh, just on their own so if you want just only one tank it will be 15% off. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to purchase any of these. 
certainly would recommend the Cromwell B, the IS-2, the Draugen, um, then looking at the General, the Sommua and the TL-1, as well as the E-25, the Panzer 54, and the SU-100. I think that's pretty much this video done. If you like the video, then like it. If you want to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest update news for World of Tanks console, then do so. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Videos will be on screen uh, right now. Goodbye.